It is a story that shook the entire tri-state and touched our hearts. Today marks the 10th anniversary of three-year-old Marcus Beisel's death. Investigators say he died at the hands of his own foster parents. Today, a ceremony was held in his honor, and our T.J. Parker joins us now with how things have changed since Marcus died. T.J.? Well, Kara, a lot of people met at the Government Center in Hamilton to remember Marcus Faisal, and they also talked about changes that have happened in foster care since his death. Marcus lived, I believe, so others could live. Ten years doesn't seem so long ago for the people who went through the horror of Marcus Faisal's death. He represents all the kids that have passed away and have been killed in that process. Marcus was just three years old when he was murdered. In August 2006, his foster mother, Liz Carroll, reported him missing. It wasn't until later that month when Hamilton County Prosecutor Joe Dieters learned Marcus was stuffed in a hot closet for days by his foster parents, and then his body was burned in a Brown County chimney. Both Liz and David Carroll were charged in his murder. And there are many in this room who have scars and wounds from working on his case. Now, years later, changes are being made because of Marcus's case. We have more knowledge today than we did 10 years ago through the systems that have been developed. Director of Butler County Children's Services, William Morrison, says now computers are linked throughout the state, sharing information on people involved in the foster care program. They also look more into the pasts of potential foster parents. Marcus's caseworker at the time, Joseph Bumer, says the case affected him both professionally and personally. But he says he made a decision to turn this horrific event into something positive. I challenged myself to become a better person, to become a better worker, to hopefully share my experiences that I have gone through, the trauma that I experienced as a result of his death, to share that with other workers, to help them, you know, become better workers. A tree will be planted in honor of Marcus. Now, Liz Carroll was sentenced to 54 years to life in prison. David, 15 years. Carroll.